2017 Honda Creek V. The rumors are true, Honda is bringing the volume knob back to its touchscreen infotainment systems. We swear it. In fact, the company even invited members of the media to Eastern Market in Detroit to physically twist and turn the neural dial in a pair of all-new 2017 Honda CR vs. Our apologies for burying the lead, it's just that, amid the excitement of Honda's volume knob news, and envisioning our reduced frustration when no longer having to use Honda's current finicky touch-sensitive volume slider control, we nearly forgot about the many other improvements the company made to its redesigned compact crossover SUV. Longer, taller, and wider than its predecessor, the 2017 CR-V has a swept-back front fascia, swollen front and rear fenders, and Volvo V90-style taillights that accentuate the crossover's Kardashian-like rear haunches turn up the styling volume compared with the previous CR-V. It's not exactly pretty, but the new CR-V certainly looks more interesting than before. Although seating is still limited to 5, a 1.6-inch longer wheelbase and improved packaging allow rear seat riders to enjoy 40.4 inches of legroom, 2.1 inches more than the previous CR-V afforded and 1.9 inches more than in the Honda Accord sedan. Meanwhile, rear cargo space behind the CR-V's flat folding 60-40 split bench seat grows by 2 cubic feet. At 39 cubic feet with all seats in use, the CRV's cargo volume now equals that of the bigger, mid-size Ford Edge. Up front, the CRV sports an instrument panel and a steering wheel that mirror those found in the Civic. A logical center stack includes simple back controls and the all-important volume knob equipped infotainment system. As before, the gear shift lever protrudes from the lower dashboard, while a spacious, reconfigurable center console provides plenty of storage for odds and ends. The 2017 Honda CR-V is available in LX, X, XL, and Touring trims, all of which come standard with LED daytime running lights, automatic climate control, steering wheel mounted audio controls, and a continuously variable automatic transmission. While the base LX model is motivated by a retuned variant of last year's 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder engine that now makes 184 horsepower and 180 pounds to foot of torque, down by one in each measure, all other models use Honda's new 1.5-liter turbocharged inline four. First seen stateside in the Civic, the little turbo engine has been massaged to produce 190 horsepower and 179 pounds to foot of to work in the CRV, increases of 16 horsepower and 17 pounds to foot. Honda anticipates that turbocharged X, XL, and Touring models will account for about 75% of the new CRV's sales. Although EPA numbers aren't yet available, the company promises best-in-class fuel economy for the turbo, which, together with the X model's long list of additional standard features, should provide plenty of enticement to move up from the LX. That X standard equipment list includes a 7.0-inch touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability, dual-zone climate control, a power driver's seat, heated front seats, a proximity key system with remote start, push-button ignition, a sunroof, and a long list of standard safety features such as collision mitigation braking, forward collision warning, lane departure warning, lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, and automatic high beam headlights. Meanwhile, those looking for even more toys can step up to the CRV XL, which brings to the table leather seats, two memory settings for the driver's seat, a power passenger seat, and an optional navigation system. Making the stretch to the top dog CRV touring moves navigation to the standard items list as well as full LED headlights and ambient LED interior lighting, plus a power lift gate that can be opened via foot activated sensor. Honda hasn't yet revealed pricing for the 2017 CRV, but we do know that every version gets that all important volume knob. Try it out yourself when the new crossover reaches Honda dealerships in December.